one. Welcome to the Academic Challenge. I'm Ray Gustafson, your host and moderator. Today we're featuring teams from Coloma and New Buffalo. The WSJM's Academic Challenge features scholastic competition involving high schools from around southwest Michigan. Academic Challenge, sponsored by Berrien Springs Public Schools, Lake Michigan College, Lakeshore Public Schools, and the Cook Nuclear Plant. Let's meet our teams. Head over to Coloma first. And say your name, what grade you're in, and anything else interesting about you. <laughs> Carly Lentz, senior. Allison Woodard, senior. Brianna Wright, sophomore. Benjamin Ball, junior. Welcome. You had to think about that for a second. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. We'll move over to the new Buffalo side. Andrew Keller, junior. Felix DeSimone, uh, sophomore. Blake Newton, freshman. Max Flino, freshman. Welcome to the Academic Challenge. My name is uh, Ray Gustafson. i uh, got a couple of basic rules during the first and second halves. We will announce the value of each question before it's asked. When you press your button, please wait to be recognized. It's very important. No consultation allowed except during the 60-second round at the halftime. Again, I'm Ray, your uh, scorekeeper and judge. Today we have Bill Klein. Welcome back, Bill. Good evening. Yeah, and uh, Ray, Bill will be uh, asking the questions. So is everybody ready to go with the academic challenge? Yeah. All right. Uh, when, the, uh, when he ans uh, asks that first question, uh, we'll put 10 seconds on the timer for you to answer. There are no uh, points deducted if you answer incorrectly, but that does give the other team a chance to steal the points away from you. So uh, go ahead and try answer the question if you can and uh, we'll get the uh, whole show on the road. All right, for five points. White for victory, red for war, black for famine, pale for death. What symbolic figures have I just described? We have uh, Carly from Coloma. The Four Horsemen. That is correct answer for five points. For 10 points, they can be general or limited. In it, two or more persons share both the risk and the profits. Its disadvantage is that some of the participants are not protected from unlimited liability. What is the name for this business arrangement? Carly, Coloma. Uh, partnership. That's correct for 10 points. A math question for five points. Get your pencils ready. If the average of five consecutive even numbers is eight, what is the smallest of the five numbers? If the average of the five consecutive even numbers is eight, what is the smallest of the five numbers? Felix from New Buffalo. Four. That is correct for five points. For five points, during her reign, she became a living legend as the Gloriana of Edmund Spencer and probably inspired the poem, The, Fra the Fairy Queen. Can you name her? Queen Elizabeth I. For 10 points, also known as HMG-COA, reductase inhibitors. What drugs are used to reduce cholesterol? Blake from New Buffalo. Marijuana. <laughs> uh, <laughs> incorrect answer. Uh, Coloma, I'll give you a few seconds to, if you want to buzz in and try it. Allison, Coloma. Insulin. Uh, incorrect. Statins. They're too young to know about cholesterol. Way too, way too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised at the uh, marijuana court. Uh, anyway. <laughs> All right. For 10 points, rabies is one disease that is almost 100% fatal to mammals. Yet there are certain animals that the disease does not affect, and they transmit the disease to victims. What are such agents called? Felix, New Buffalo. Vectors. Uh, incorrect answer. Carriers. For five points, in 1997, the American Public Transportation Association issued which woman its first Lifetime Achievement Award? 
Andrew from New Buffalo. Rosa Parks. That is correct for five points. Nice job. For 15 points, it isn't his fault, but what does the Man of Steel repair in Superman the movie? Andrew, New Buffalo. A window. Uh, incorrect. Allison, Coloma. The barn. Uh, incorrect. The San Andreas Fault. Mm. For five points, Estonia has been ruled by Germany, Denmark, Sweden, and Russia. It first gained independence in the last year of which war? Felix, New Buffalo. World War II. Uh, incorrect answer. Carly, Coloma. World War One. That is a correct answer for five points. For 20 points, Pittsburgh was the city in which radio's first commercial broadcasting station was located. The subject of the first broadcast was the presidential election returns of what two candidates? Felix from New Buffalo. Um, John F. Kennedy and Richard Nixon. Uh, incorrect. A little bit farther back than that. Harding and Cox. <laughs> Way farther back. Yeah. For 10 points. For what products are alpacas bred? Max from New Buffalo. Wool. That is correct for 10 points. For 15 points, Harris, Lewis, and Donegal are the leading examples of what fabric? Blake, New Buffalo. Cloth. Incorrect. Tweed. For tweed. <laughs> Not smeed. Tweed. For 20 points. Name the small wire kitchen utensil used to beat or whip up food. Brianna Coloma. A whisk. That is correct for 20 points. A mathematics question for five points. Pencils out. If you change a turntable speed from 45 RPMs to 33 and a third RPMs, how many revolutions per minute slower does the turntable spin? If you change a turntable speed from 45 RPMs to 33 and a third RPMs, how many revolutions per minute slower does the turntable spin? Felix, New Buffalo. 11.7. That is correct. For Dang. five points. Good job. For 20 points. This composer represents the first introduction to orchestral music that many preschoolers receive. Andrew from New Buffalo. Mozart. Uh, incorrect. You want to finish the question? The selection is syncopated clock. Name the composer. That was awful fast. That was a quick one. <laughs> Leroy Anderson. <laughs> Gee. Just her, her, never mind. <laughs> For 15 points. Why do underdeveloped Asian countries tend to have larger families through choice than do industrialized countries? Allison, Coloma. Overpopulation. Uh, incorrect. New Buffalo. Blake from New Buffalo. Overpopulation laws. Uh, incorrect. It, third world countries regard children as economic necessities and as a means of social security. About two minutes left. For 15 points, we have to have two answers here. In Pilgrim's Process, Beelzebub and others established a fair which lasted all year round. At the fair were sold all sorts of worldly pleasures. A Victorian wrote a novel using the name of the fair as the title. What was the novel and who was the author? Vanity Fair by Thackeray for five points at the age of 50 a great American wrote of himself 
if any personal description of me is thought desirable, it may be said that I am in height six feet four inches, nearly, lean in flesh, weighing in an average 180 pounds, dark in complexion, with coarse black hair and gray eyes. Who was he? Felix from New Buffalo. Abraham Lincoln. That is correct for five points. For 20 points, what famous congressman represented both Massachusetts and New Hampshire? Blake from New Buffalo. John Adams. Uh, incorrect. Daniel Webster. For 10 points, starting in 1985, Las Paginas Amarillas de Pacific Bell was distributed in Los Angeles. What was it? Blake, right on the buzzer, New Buffalo. A book? Um, more complete answer. Mm. I don't got one. That's all <laughs> I got. <laughs> that incorrect. Coloma, you want to give it a try? Ooh, right on the buzzer. Carly. A Bible? From, uh, Coloma, say again. A Bible? Uh, incorrect. Probably my Spanish didn't help either. It was the Yellow Pages Spanish version. Well, that's the end of the first half of today's academic challenge. We'll be back with the score in the 60-second round after this on WSJM, the news and talk of Michigan's Great Southwest. All right, give me just a moment here. Uh, oh. What are the three beverages? Yeah, like anybody's going to choose that one. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Are we ready for the 60 second round? Not true. <laughs> um, normally, after the 60 second round is when we do the substitutions. So, could we get through that and then, yep, let's, let's, yep, let's, let's do it right after the 60 second round and then we swap for the, then we, yep, that's okay. We swap for the second half then. That's where, and it's in my script that way. You just messed me up. <laughs> God help us if we will. I know. I got to go off of script here, you know. So. <laughs> the lightning will come. Okay, let's begin the 60 second round here. Uh, in three, two, one. Welcome back to the Academic Challenge on WSJM. At the end of the first half, the score is Coloma 40 and New Buffalo 30. Now on to the 60-second round. Teams, you have three categories to choose from. We will give you 60 seconds to answer as many of the 10 questions as you can, each one worth 10 points. There will be a 20-point bonus if you can answer all 10 within that 60 seconds. You are encouraged to consult with one another at this point, uh, but the answers need to come from the team captains. After that minute is up, the opposing team will have a chance to answer the questions that the first team could not answer. So, New Buffalo, you are trailing by 10 points at the moment, so you have first choice on the categories, which are beverages, Central America, and how many? First off, who's your team captain, New Buffalo? Is it you, Andrew? Okay, yep. good. So what would be your choice? We're going to do how many. How many it is. And we will put 60 seconds on that timer. And uh, is that 60 seconds will start as soon as Bill finishes reading that first question. How many New England states are there? 13. Incorrect. How many Russians have landed on the moon? Zero. Correct. 
A normal set of teeth contains how many wisdom teeth? Four. Correct. Nobel Prizes are awarded annually in how many different categories? Six. Correct. For how many hours was Jesus on the cross? Six. Correct. How many states combined do Alaska and Hawaii touch? Zero. Correct. Fifty states constitute the USA. How many provinces form Canada? More than that. Thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, incorrect. How many U.S. states form the border with Mexico? Go ahead and try answer it real quick. No? Nope. Seven. Incorrect. All right. So since we had started that, I'll let you go yes. ahead and finish that one up. <laughs> so you answered five correctly for 50 points. That means there are five unanswered questions that Coloma has the chance to steal away from you. Uh, Carly, are you the team captain for, okay, for Coloma? So the answers need to come with you. Uh, as you're consulting with one another, you go ahead and speak up. Uh, I know they were doing sign language with New Buffalo over here uh, for <laughs> the, uh, during the consultation, but go ahead and speak it out. Uh, it does help to kind of talk things out a little bit. So we'll put 60 seconds back on the clock, uh, and that 60 seconds will start as soon as he finishes reading the first question. How many New England states are there? Seven. Six. Uh, 50 states constitute the USA. How many provinces form Canada? 12. 10. How many U.S. states form the border with Mexico? 5. 4. How many main islands are there in Japan? 2. 4. How many men must there be on base for an infield fly rule to be in effect? Two. Correct. That's it. All right. Well, you got one, so you picked up a bonus of 10, of, uh, ten points there. So now we'll switch sides uh, and uh, allow Coloma to choose from the remaining two categories, uh, which the remaining two then would be beverages or Central America. Carly, what do you think? Uh, we go with beverages. <laughs> beverages it would be. Why not? And I hope that they are some good questions <laughs> about beverages. We'll put 60 seconds back on the timer, and that 60 seconds will begin. Uh, remember, New Buffalo, you can steal, so keep pay attention. And we'll put 60 seconds back on the timer, and it will begin as soon as you're done reading the first question. After water... The most widely consumed beverage in the world. Alcohol. I'm sorry, I didn't hear. Alcohol. Uh, incorrect. A fermented drink made from fruit juice, usually apple. Apple cider. Correct. Popular pick-me-up brewed from the roasted seeds of an evergreen bush. I don't know. <laughs> Beer. Uh, incorrect. Sparkling wine from a specific region in France. Pass. A sweet treat made from milk and ice cream. Milkshake. Milkshake. Correct. Liquid found inside this fruit of palm trees has been used in many sports drinks. Coconut milk. Correct. A brew usually fermented from malted cereal grains. Pass. I'm sorry? Pass. A dairy-based holiday beverage with frosty whipped eggs. Eggnog. Correct. Eggnog is correct. So you got four correct. That means there are six more that we uh, that New Buffalo can steal the points on. So you got 40 points, uh, Coloma and New Buffalo. We are ready to go. We'll put 60 seconds back on the timer. And uh, we'll begin with 60 seconds as soon as he finishes reading that first question. After water, the most widely consumed beverage in the world. Coffee. Tea. Close. Popular pick-me-up brewed from the roasted seeds of an evergreen bush. Pass. Can't pass in this round. Oh, okay. <laughs> Coffee. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Sparkling wine from a specific <laughs> region in France. Okay. Chardonnay. Chardonnay. Champagne. A brew usually fermented from malted, malted cereal grains. One. 
and audio. Beer. Correct. Originally intended to be a medicine, this is now the world's most popular soft drink. Coca-Cola. Correct. What beverage do you use a pitcher with a smiling face on it as a symbol? Kool-Aid. Correct. <laughs> that it? That's it. All right. Sweet. So you got four. Nice job. Well, that ends the 60-second round. Yes. We will check the scores and conclude the game next to here on WSJM, the news and talk of Michigan's great Southwest. Always good to go with your English. I'm assuming that's a type of champagne. Yeah, probably. That's good. Speed round? Blake, you go coffee. <laughs> God, that was amazing. <laughs> I, know, yeah. I mean, yeah, he said coffee for free. No, just go with coffee. Yeah. Just hey, go with coffee. Why not? When in doubt. <laughs> when in doubt, coffee. Yeah, that's my thing. Yes, coffee. <laughs> when in doubt. Coffee. Trash <laughs> Watch Max is not all the answers. That's what happened to me last time. Um, <laughs> anybody have a little something to say about yeah. your school? Okay. Uh, Carly, you have a little something to say about your school? I'll come to you first. And then uh, and over to you. Okay. Yep. Uh, yep. Yeah. Can we change out the tags? I can change these. Are they? Yeah, they're good. So who did we lose? Uh, so we got. Two, so we got three. Where's this? Where's this? Two, three, three. Okay. And then we have a uh, Christian. Oh, you don't like. Hmm. Gotta win this, boy. Believe in yourself, Christian. For the money. Just don't say for the Just believe in yourself. <laughs> don't spell jalapeno. Doesn't touch. That was a quiet one. That was the quietest sneeze I've ever done in my life. Oh my god. I sneeze very loud. Just in case. Okay, are we ready to roll? We'll mm -hmm. finish her up here then. All right, second half of the Academic Challenge in three, two, one. We are back on the Academic Challenge here on WSJM. The score at the end of the 60-second round, Coloma is 90, New Buffalo 120. It's now time to find out what's happening at each of our participating schools. We'll head over to Coloma. And Carly, what's going on at Coloma? All right, we're doing uh, great over at Coloma High School. Our winter sports are kicking off, uh, including our bowling team. They have their first game on December 5th, and our soccer club, our indoor soccer club is getting started, and our basketball team has their first game tonight. Um, for fine arts, we have uh, our art club just finished decorating a Christmas tree at the North Berrien Historical Museum, uh, 80s themed. Uh, we're very proud of how it turned out and all the work that went into it. Um, our band has a concert coming, has a winter concert coming up on December 9th, and the choir concert has one coming up on the 11th. Uh, the National Honor Society is hosting an Angel Tree event for the younger students in Coloma, and our student council is doing a blood drive on December 9th with, um, with the help of Michigan Blood. Uh, we've got a lot of people signed up for it, but uh, there are still spots open for people who would like to donate. Um, we'd like to thank uh, Health Heroes for sponsoring the uh, free flu shots at the school, too. Um, and, of course, we'd like to thank our sponsors, the Lakeshore Lancers, Cook Nuclear Plant, uh, Berrien Springs Public Schools, Lake Michigan College, and WSJM for uh, hosting the event. And you are welcome. Mm -hmm. All right, New Buffalo, Andrew, what's going on at your school? Okay, um, first, the New Buffalo High School Band just returned from marching at the Magic Kingdom in Walt Disney World on Thanksgiving Day. Uh, they marched prior to the electrical parade, actually led the, el the electrical parade that goes down Main Street, nice. um, which was pretty cool. And now they are preparing for their winter concert, which is on December 9th. Um, our mock trial team is forming and getting their criminal case set for a competition in March. 
boys and girls basketball season are off to a start, and our Lady Bison are opening their season at home tonight versus Barry and Springs. Um, some other activities include our robotics club and bowling club getting started, as well as our first ever um, high school ski club getting organized this year. Um, our student senate is adopting families for Christmas that we get to shop for and help them out in times of need. Um, auditions and rehearsals are beginning for the winter and spring musical. And our second trimester just started yesterday, so we're off to a new start. Uh, we'd also like to thank um, all the sponsors and everyone here at WSJM for hosting. And you're welcome as well. So, All right. Well, we'll continue on with the second half. We do have a couple of substitutions for the second half of, uh, of it. Uh, Coloma, uh, welcome. Can I get you to say your name and what grade you're in? I'm Dax. I'm a junior. Welcome to the Academic Challenge, New Buffalo. We have a substitution as well. Uh, Christian Smith, senior. Welcome to the Academic Challenge. So, All right. We will uh, uh, put some time back on our timer for 10 seconds for each one of the questions, and we will begin the second half of the academic challenge. Bill, you ready to head it off? Absolutely. Here we go. For 15 points, one opera, Das Rheingold, has no human being in the story. Name the composer. <laughs> Richard Wagner, all the characters are gods. For 15 points, the use of the rounded arc, barrel, barrel vault, and windows that tend to be comparatively small is typical of what period of architecture? Carly from Coloma. Uh, romantic. That is a correct answer for 15 points. A math question, get your pencils out, for 10 points. Take the number of chambers in the human heart, multiply by the number of the last Pope Paul, and add the number of ways to leave your lover in the title of a Paul Simon song. What's the answer? And the older people in the room are <laughs> laughing at the song. Yes. And not that I'm calling these, you old, I'm just kids saying never the adults. <laughs> the adults. Say it one more time, Bill, just so. Take the number of chambers in the human heart. Mm -hmm. Multiply by the number of the last Pope Paul and add the number of ways to leave your lover in the title of a Paul Simon song. And then what's the answer? Andrew from New Buffalo. 75. That is a correct answer. Very nice. Outstanding. <laughs> Adults in the room, how many ways are there to leave your lover? 15. Yeah. 15. 15? 50. 50. Oh, 50. 50. <laughs> 50 ways to leave your lover. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. ah, good job. Don't say any more or Bill will, <laughs> Bill will break out singing. Oh, yes. So. Yes, that's, uh -huh. I love that. I, I'm Nicely a big done. Simon and Garfield fan. <laughs> For 10 points, the changing of a dead organism to stone is a long process called what? Dax, Coloma. Petrification. That is correct. For 10 points. For 20 points, what world-famous treatment center for the mentally ill began in a farmhouse in Topeka, Kansas, in 1925? Oh, I've been there many times. The manager clinic <laughs> for 15 points. This animal is a rodent closely related to rats and mice. In Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, Alice and Coloma. <laughs> the white rabbit. Uh, incorrect. Go ahead and finish the question. In Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, one of them could not keep awake at a tea party. Identify the creature. New Buffalo. Andrew from New Buffalo. I'm March Hare. Uh, incorrect. It was the Dormouse. Oh. For 15 points. The city was open for settlement April 22nd, 1889, and by nightfall had a population of 10,000 under tents. What city am I describing? Christian, New Buffalo. New York City. Uh, incorrect. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Could I just say a tent city? Would that would a that tent work? City. No, no, no. no. Okay. It was Oklahoma City. For ten points, originally the word denoted the peasantry in agricultural regions, since they are figuratively planted in the earth. What descriptive word means those people who are the very foundation, especially of a political party or movement, the common people, the voters? Felix from New Buffalo. Grassroot. That is correct for 10 points. For 15 points, a formula or systematic process used by a computer to solve a problem is referred to by what term? Christian, New Buffalo. Arithmetic? Uh, incorrect. Dax, Coloma. Algorithm. That is correct for 15 points. For 10 points, its name comes from the Latin for seawater, but it is a semi-precious stone of bluish green hue. Name this gem. Carly from Coloma. Aquamarine. That is correct for 10 points. For 5 points, photographer Joe Rosenthal was awarded the 1945 Pulitzer Prize for his picture of American Marines in action. What Pacific event was captured in the well-known photo? Blake from New Buffalo. D-Day? Uh, incorrect. Oh, you're going to hate yourself. The raising of the flag at Iwo Jima. For 10 points, here's a switch. On what planet is the sky red and the sunset blue? Carly from Coloma. Mercury. Uh, incorrect. Obviously, none of you went to see The Martian. It was mm. Mars. A math question for 10 points. The smallest positive degree measure for x, such that the sine of 2x equals 1, is what value where tangent of x equals 1? Say it again. I'm going to have to. <laughs> <laughs> the smallest positive degree measure for x, such that the sine of 2x equals 1 is what value where the tangent of x equals 1? Ooh, Andrew, New Buffalo. Two. Uh, incorrect. Carly, Coloma? Pi over 4. Uh, incorrect. It was the degree measure, 45 degrees. For 20 points, what prominent character in Thomas Hardy's Far From the Matting Crowd has the name, the, s the same name as a tree? Prominent character in Thomas Hardy's Far From the Matting Crowd. The same name as a tree. Gabriel Oak. <laughs> For five points, spell the word meaning wharf, which is pronounced key. Carly from Coloma. K E E P. Uh, incorrect. Quay. Q U A Y. For 15 points, one of Nikita Khrushchev's most memorable movements occurred when he addressed the UN General Assembly in 1960. What did he do to get everybody's attention during the speech? Felix, New Buffalo. Denounced Stalin. Uh, incorrect. He pounded his shoe on the desk when he proclaimed that he will bury the United States. Under two minutes left. For 15 points, this paper is treated to make it waterproof and greaseproof and usable for wrapping. What is it? Dax from Coloma. Parchment paper? Uh, incorrect. Christian, New Buffalo. Wax paper. That is correct for 15 points. 
A multiple choice question for five points. Which of these words mean the opposite of intermittent? Mutable, constant, sure, literal, laughable. Dax, Coloma. Constant. That is correct for five points. For ten points, whose novel all whose novels all begin with in the case of the blank? Say that one one more time. Whose novels all begin with the case of the blank? Felix, New Buffalo. Arthur Conan Doyle. Incorrect. Good guess. Coloma? Earl Stanley Gardner. Well, that does it. That's the end of today's oh. academic challenge match. We'll tabulate the scores and announce the winners after this on WSJM, the news and talk of Michigan's great Southwest. Good job, guys. Give me a second to tabulate here, and then we'll, we'll wrap this thing up. Close. Yeah. All right, let me wrap this thing up quick, guys, and then we'll uh, and then we'll be finished. All right, the wrap up uh, in three, two, one. We're back on WSJM's academic challenge to announce today's winner and thank our sponsors. We had a close game all the way through. It was tied right up close to the end there. But the winners, by a score of 155 to 145, are the team from New Buffalo. Congratulations, oh, New Buffalo. Good match. Good job. Yeah. Good job guys. Thank you all for joining us on WSJM's Academic Challenge, brought to you by Lakeshore Public Schools, Lake Michigan College, Berrien Springs Public Schools, and the Cook Nuclear Plant. Join us again next week at this time as Bridgman and Countryside go head-to-head -head on Academic Challenge. Good job.